You have soft skin. It's very, very <laughs> extraordinary. It's All a right. Monday. You know we're having We're just full fun. of love yeah, and other right. stuff. You may recognize her as one of the contestants from The Golden Bachelor, though her time was cut short. She truly left an indelible mark, an admirable impression on the viewers as well. You ladies were so inspiring, and I think you showed people that new love, new adventure, new life, that can happen to anybody at any age. Absolutely. It really was inspiring. As a pro-aging coach and a midlife maven, it's because we've lived life, we've been through a lot of ups and downs, and life be life and baby, and you need people that shoulder you can lean on that has your back and is a confidant. Wow. We are getting knowledge on this Monday. Hope y'all taking there, notes. There is so much to Natasha Harding beyond the golden rose. She is a pro-aging coach using her years of health and wellness experience to support women as they own their second season of life. I, I love, love this. It. Yeah. And as she mentioned, she calls herself the midlife maven. She told Jesse Palmer right I love there that. And, and I saw a lot of heads nodding along. <laughs> and she believes there's always time to achieve and accomplish whatever makes your heart sing. Mm. And for that, we thank you. And without any further ado, we welcome Natasha Hardy to the show. Welcome Hello. to New York Living. Thank you for having me. I appreciate being here. She Are serenaded we, us. She did. Yes. She said happy Monday to you. Happy in, in the Monday to you. Happy Monday. Thank you. I, I, you know what? This There's a theme of today's show. That's right. And it's, it's the music. music. It's music. We don't want to spend too much time on The Golden Bachelor, but that's what got you here. Mm -hmm. How was the experience? The experience was amazing. I would say it was a once in a lifetime mm -hmm. experience. And what I can tell you that I learned from being on The Golden Bachelor is a few things. Number one is I hadn't dated in eight years before <laughs> I went on there because of a um, grandparent to my, parenting my granddaughter. Okay. Two is we're not really taught how to date. Right. And I'm not the only one, but I know a lot of women have it. And yeah. Haven't been taught how to date. And three is you got to prepare yeah. to date. It's important to plan, to prepare, have a game plan in place so you can find your successful mate. Now, exactly. Oh, up. I, can we get into the? Can we get into the preparing? I've never heard someone say you have to prepare to date, but that makes a, a lot, lot of, of people sense. are probably like you know scratching their heads because it's perfectly. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Well. This is why I'm the midlife maven, yes. because Thank I you. teach my clients <laughs> what to do. Okay, so here, here's how it goes. Basically, believe it or not, I went on ChatGPT and asked ChatGPT, what uh, are good dating questions to ask before I went on the really? show? Nobody, I never told anybody that. <gasps> oh, Breaking news, <laughs> you're on your hello. ChatGPT, wow. And I feel like you get to, there's a step. Don't go out to dinner right away. Right. That's too big of a commitment. Thank Have you. coffee. Maybe you can't even talk to the person for five minutes or three right. minutes. Maybe you could talk to them for hours on end. Let's move to lunch. Then you have a little deeper questions to ask. Because see, if you match up, have same thinking, yeah. you know, if you can spend a little more time with this right. person, find out their values right. or what do they like or don't like, you get to see them in a different element. Yeah. Then if it works, Move to dinner. Then move to dinner. So then funny. maybe you got something going on there and you can see from that element how he dresses, right, how he speaks. Right. You've seen him in three different environments, or her. Right. Right? So you do that. And I think that we get to do some research and do some inner work right. about that. You right. know, because that's what I'm all about. Getting getting me together right. so I can know what I'm doing. Well, that's very right. important. If you don't get you together, how are you going to be right. expected to be 50% right. of a relationship? Because it's a two-way street, honey. That's it goes right. both ways. Both parties got to show up with equal, mm -hmm. you know, effort here. No, I love that you call yourself the midlife maven. And you also, you know, pride yourself on the fact that age is just a number. So it's easier said than done, perhaps, for most. How do you, uh, how do you really get yourself to believe and live in that mindset? Well, first of all, I've how do I live in that mindset is because I've done a tremendous amount of self-work. I've done the work. I've also done mindset work, which is why I became a life coach to teach mm -hmm. other people how to do this. And it's a lifestyle mm -hmm. to have this idea that I'm awesome and amazing. I'm my, I'm my best cheerleader. Right. And I have self-love 
and have a strong daily spiritual practice mm -hmm. and a, with a sprinkle of affirmations. Okay. okay. So how does this, because I'd never heard the term pro-aging coach, mm -hmm. I'm, and on the, on the surface it's like, we're getting older, but that's a good thing. Is that a fair assessment? Absolutely. I feel like there's a societal norm that has us believe that after you turn 40, 50, 60 and above, they put you in a box. Right. You become invisible and we sit you off to the mm. side. And the only thing you get to do is take care of your grandchildren or sit around and go back and forth to the doctor. Mm. That's not my life, honey. Thank you. That ain't my <laughs> life. So my whole thing is we're going to age right. proactively. That's right. You know, we have a lot of viewers uh, and people who work here who are interested in this, who maybe haven't been out there in eight or maybe more yeah. years, but they want to put themselves out there. What is one or two actionable things that you can tell them right now, first steps that they can take? to put themselves back out there? Number one is you need to figure out what type of person you want to be and who you want to be with. So you need to write a list of who this person, mm -hmm. this ideal person is for you. Number two, you need to go on ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT <laughs> some dating <laughs> questions and also right. where to go to find high, you have to ask the right questions to ChatGPT. Uh -huh. You don't know how to act unless okay. you prompted gotta, the correct way. <laughs> so y'all y'all know who, who do tap GPT, y'all know who prompt uh -huh. that. But you ask where to go to find high quality women or men because high quality men are not in the same place as high quality women Ooh. are. Oh boy, well, okay. I would have to agree. I feel like we've just scratched the surface and we <laughs> will definitely invite you back because you are, you've got pearls of wisdom. But before we go, can we see those fabulous earrings you have? Absolutely. And for those of you who are not in the know, why the chair? Well, you know, before I left the, the, batch, uh -huh. the Bachelor uh -huh. mansion, I was like, we need chair rose ceremony for people who are 60, 70, and above. Mm -hmm. Because standing, first of all, we don't <laughs> even do heels. <laughs> you see? <laughs> We don't do heels. We don't do heels, baby, at this stage of the game. So, and you know we're not standing very right. long. That's a long so time to we stand. get roses. Can we We're going to get chairs <clears throat> for the rose ceremony. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you okay. for that. Okay. Okay. You got my vote. All right. Where do I sign? So fantastic. Natasha Thank you Hardy. so much. Thank you, darling. It was such a pleasure meeting you. Oh, my goodness. Fantastic. I, like I said, enjoyed you. Back, you all are so Harlem's much fun. Harlem's very own. Yes. Please come so back. Please, very please own. come back.